Good day, Jeff Kitzmiller here from the National Weather Service. It's Thursday, September 2nd. Here is your planning briefing. The main points is we're uh, in a warming and drying trend. We'll see some increasing smoke during the weekend as our flow switches to southwesterly. Increasing winds, especially on Sunday and Monday, and then possible ridge breakdown next Wednesday. As for our uh, overall weather pattern, here's the current satellite image. There's a lot of smoke working its way out of California and just into entering into southern Idaho. But with that trough that's currently over us, it's keeping most of the northern Rockies into uh, clear, mostly clean air. But as I mentioned before, that flow shifts and all of this smoke will start directing toward us. So looking at the overall weather pattern, let me let this go through and then I'll start at the beginning, which would be from today. Here we go. There's the trough. High pressure building in. It's uh, more of a southwesterly flow to start and there's a little increase in wind while we're, and that's why we're seeing those higher wind uh, potential later on in the weekend. And then the very last images, which I'll let it loop one more time and show you those. Right in here, ridge peaks Tuesday and then starts to break down on Wednesday. So we'll see if the timing on that holds as we get closer. Relative humidity values from today, we're seeing uh, southwest Montana in the driest around 20 or lower for percent, and then mostly just 20s and 30s for the rest of us. But when we look at Saturday, it's a fair amount drier and could even be a bit drier than what we're showing currently here in the forecast. As for wind, here's the wind potential on Saturday. Uh, this is actually in knots, so these could be a little bit higher for uh, the observed for mile per hour. In the windier places, some 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts. A little bit more on Sunday, especially along the divide and up in the Flathead National Forest. And then the focus for the wind transitions into the Beaverhead Deer Lodge for Monday. As for the 8 to 14 day outlook, which covers September 9th through the 15th, it does look like we might switch our pattern a bit back to a cooler. Pretty good chances for cooler. And then there's uh, some chances for above normal for our precipitation, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Weather matrix showing our chances for wind and some drying conditions as we go through the week. Uh, other than that, there isn't really too much more that stands out. If you have any questions, please let us know.